which one? They're both good. They're both good. Okay, questions for Aaron? Anthony on the left. Aaron, what do you remember most about the atmosphere here in 17 in the playoffs? The atmosphere? Um, no, it was, it was a good good atmosphere. You know, crowd was good. Crowd was into it. Um, yeah, it gets loud. It's, it's a dome, basically. So whenever they keep the roof closed, it gets pretty loud in here. Sweeney? Aaron, this is a matchup that a lot of fans have been anticipating all year. Have you as a team kind of been looking forward to this, kind of top two teams in the league? That's tough to say. You know, once you get into the postseason, you never know what's going to happen. You know, you always, during the regular season, you know, try to maybe map it out. Like, okay, we'll probably see these guys here and these guys here, maybe these guys later down the road. But once you get in the postseason, you never really know what's going to happen. So, um, you know, once we won the three games in Minnesota, we were just kind of waiting around and, you know, whoever we get, we get, you know. So it's, uh, but we're, we're excited to be here in Houston, you know, excited to be back and you know, just get ready to start the CS. Aaron, if you gain confidence against pitchers that you do really well against, uh, what does it do for your confidence for pitchers that, that handle you? How do you deal with that? What, what goes into trying to change that? Uh, if, yeah, if a pitcher has your number, <laughs> don't do what you keep doing. You know, change up your plan because it's apparently not working, you know. But, uh, you know, just going against any any pitcher, you know, just – Come up with a good game plan, you know, stick to it. And then once the game starts, you know, just see how they're trying to pitch to you, see what, see what's working, see what's, what pitches are working for them. Because sometimes you might face a pitcher and, you know, usually you're facing them and they got a good fastball slider, a good fastball changeup. All of a sudden you see them today and it's like, wow, their changeup isn't doing much or he has no feel for a slider. So then you kind of, you know, work from there and, you know, formulate a new game plan of what to try to do. So it's, uh, yeah, it's just all about, it's a chess match. It's all about, you know, moving your pieces and, and see what works. Meredith. Aaron, a lot has been made, obviously, of their starting staff. You've made comments in the past throughout the season that you like facing the best. What is it about the challenge of facing elite pitching that, that you enjoy? Just the fire you see from those a lot of guys on the mound, especially, you know, you, you see, they got two, two great guys that I've faced quite a few times, you know, Garrett Cole and, and Verlander, man. You're going to see them on the mound, you know, it's – it's I'm, I'm executing my game plan against you, and that's how we're going to dictate that, you know. And when you have a guy that's out there on the mound like that, you know, that's that's who you want to compete against. You know, guys that are, aren't going to, you know, shy away in a three-two count, ain't going to shy away with guys on base, or at the moments, you know, two outs, base low, they're going to go out there and attack you. So whenever you have a guy like that, you know, I love facing guys like that. That just leave it all on the line, you know, just leave it all out there, and you know, best man wins, you know. So that's that's always been fun, you know, competing against those guys. In the back on the right. Garrett Cole has been on quite the run. Uh, what in particular about it has impressed you the most, or what in particular about him impresses you the most? For him, just getting early strikes. You know, I see him um, either a slider, a curveball, changeup heater. You know, he always gets that first strike. You know, either swinging or you know he'll put one down the put one over the plate. But uh, you know, just like I said, you know, those guys like to establish you know that bat and establish you know what's going to happen by you know really dictating that first pitch, you know, so, you know, whenever you let those guys, you know, get that first pitch strike, you know, you're kind of, you're in a pretty big hole, you know, because it's going to be 0-2 real quick. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what I really love watching about, you know, about Cole especially is just how he's able to go out there and, you know, works the edges well with all his pitches and um, just getting that strike one, that's that's huge, especially in the postseason. Down here on the right. Aaron, clearly 2017 was your first postseason experience. Looking back at that and then going through what you guys went through last year, how different are you as a player and how are you better prepared now for this point to get to this point for a chance to maybe go to the World Series? Yeah. Um, I think the biggest thing is just getting the experience, you know, getting the experience in front of the fans, in front of the big situations. Because, you know, playing in front of Yan in Yankee Stadium with, you know, 50,000 yelling and screaming, that's, that's, that's a lot of fun. That's that's where you want to play. But in the postseason, it's a whole different animal. You know, no matter where you go. Um, so just getting a lot of games, you know, underneath my belt with you know fifty thousand screaming, booing, yelling, all that. Just getting used to that, and just hey, it's it's still the same game. He's still sixty feet six inches away. It's still ninety feet the first. You know, so that, that's the biggest thing. Is just once you get experience, now you're comfortable in those situations, and then it's just you know time to roll. First row here on the left. 
Um, how exciting is it for you all to be in this position, or the you know the adversity and the injuries that you all went through in order to be here? Yeah, it's it's, it's amazing to think about. You know, it's amazing to think about the injuries and the setbacks that we that we had all season. You know, despite you know some of the guys we lost in spring training, guys we lost early in the year. You know, we didn't have our ace until you know just recently getting Severino back. We missed John Carlo, me, quite a few guys for. You know, I think you can go up and down that whole lineup, except for a couple of guys that haven't, you know, been on the IL for a little bit. So, uh, but when it comes down to it, you know, our goal going into spring training was to win a division. You know, that was our main goal. You know, that's what we talked about in our very first meetings. We got to go out there and win our division to set ourselves up for the postseason. And, you know, we were able to accomplish that. And I think everybody just bought in on the idea of, you know, Booney went up there in front of everybody and said, hey, I don't care if you guys double A, triple A, you know, a big league guy fighting for a job, at some point you're going to impact this team and make a difference. And I think guys just bought into that. They said, hey, I know I might be starting out in double A or I might be starting out in triple A. I'm mad I'm not in the big leagues. But, you know, at some point my, my number is going to get called and I got to produce. And that's what guys did. And then it's, uh, it's fun to be around, a, be around a group like that that's, that's hungry, that's selfless, and just all, all they want to do is win. Andy, on the left. Aaron, to your point that you made before about Cole being good at getting strike one, when you have a guy like that that you – no, it might throw you a strike in the first pitch. Does that make you want to be more aggressive swinging early in the count, or is that getting out of whatever your plan would be? Yeah, it's tough. You know, that's why it's it's a chess match. You got to see how the game's kind of unfolding. Okay, a guy like that's you know been so successful. You know, getting you know strike one and getting ahead, and well, you know, we might see three pitches into the game that you know his fastball commands a little off. So now it's like, okay, guys, really shrink that zone into a certain spot, or you know, do this and that. So the game plan just depends on. You know the game at hand. You know because we got all these numbers, we got all these stats. You know past numbers. He did this, is past this, or you're o for your, you got your ten for your last this. But you can throw all those numbers out the window when you step between the lines because anything can happen. You know, so it's just about watching the game and you know make your moves from there. Okay, just taking two more here, Brian. Aaron, we've talked a lot about that 2017 ALCS. When you think about that series, is there like a moment or a snapshot that comes into your head? Like what comes to mind? I think about, um, you know, first the three games at home, you know, us having the two-game deficit, you know, and us being able to rally and get three and, you know, give us a shot, you know, back here for two at Houston. You know, that's, that's what I think about is just how resilient that team was and how they just fought to the very end, you know, fought to the very end because a lot of teams might have rolled over after they go down two, especially against a good team like Houston. And, you know, we continue to fight. You know, we, you know, used you know, our home field advantage a little bit in those three games and, I uh, just came up short, you know, I think about game seven, you know, CC going out there and, you know, wanting the ball and wanting to pitch in that situation and, you know, just us coming up a little short. But, uh, yeah, just it was just an intense series all around, you know, good baseball. You know, they got a good team that only can, you know, hit for power, but get guys on base. They can steal good defense, good pitching staff. You know, same with us. We got guys that can get on base, hit for power. So, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. One more left in the back, James. Astros have made a living off of the pitching high in the zone, like the four seamer. I mean, how, and that's like, I mean, other teams have caught on and done that same. Like, how does one combat that as a batter if they're throwing you high? Like, do you lay off of them? Like, what do you do? Well, it's tough because those high ones <laughs> out of the hand, you know, it looks like it's right down the middle. And all of a sudden it's 99 at your, at your neck and you're swinging at it. Like, why did I just swing at that? You know, so uh, the biggest thing is just as a hitter, just getting ready early. You know, if you're, a tad bit late or a tad bit not ready to hit from the very first pitch of that bat against guys like that, you're, you're going to be late. You're going to be swinging at stuff you shouldn't be swinging on. So the biggest thing, you know, against guys like that that throw up in the zone and have good velocity and good off speed pitches is just get ready early. You know, let your let your eyes work. You know, the better, you know, if your head's still and you're able to see the ball a little bit better, that might give you that extra, you know, three or four feet you need to see if that's a fastball I can swing at or that's the one I got to take. So um, just get ready, just get ready to hit. That's the biggest thing. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you.